Nick, wow, congratulations. What a win for you. Can you just put into words how you're feeling right now? Oh, it's indescribable. I'm so happy. I've been through so much, so much pain and hurt. And a lot of, yeah, boy. Well done. Keep me on the next one, Sam. <laughs> yeah, um, it's indescribable. It's, uh, I feel, you know, I, I put everything into that, everything into training camp. And to get out a win like that, I'm sending the right messages. You came out on the front foot from the opening bell. You, you bullied Eric in there and comfortably became the first man to beat him in a professional boxing ring. This is a huge win for your career, isn't it? Oh, it's a big win. Pfeiffer, great man, great amateur as he is. He, was, um, he had some great fights, some great wins in his amateur career. So we knew what was in front of us. And I knew I didn't want to get involved with a boxing match with him. I just wanted to go out and destroy him. We, you did just that. Talk us through from your perspective how the fight unfolded. You said in the build-up you have the power to hurt a lot of heavyweights and you certainly showed that this evening. That's right. That's what, that's what we did. We, we said in the change room, start fast, hurt them quick. And that's exactly what we did. Does it make it extra sweet for you to have done it on a huge platform like this and against you know one of Dillian White's heavyweight protégés on, on his card? You were coming in as the underdog. few people overlooked you heading into this fight, I think it's fair to say, but you proved everyone wrong tonight. Well, everyone overlooks me. Everyone doubts me. Stop doubting me. Just believe like I do in my team. We know how much you were hurt in that setback against Dave Allen, but you secured <coughs> the three wins in the one night. Uh, coming into this evening, you were confident we would see you back to your best with that self-belief back in you, wouldn't we? That's right. It's all about self-belief. It's all mind games. And when you've got bombs to back the mind games up, it's all good. 2020 was a massive year for you. Outside of the ring, you said you learnt an awful lot about yourself. Do you believe inside the ring this is the start of the next chapter in the career of Nick Webb now? Oh yes, definitely. It's the next chapter. It's where you know where I, where I did take them losses. I'm back where I left off, I believe. Even I, better. I just wonder, now you've beaten one of Dillian White's heavyweight protégés, uh, another one who's in the arena tonight is Alan Babich. Um, what are your thoughts on that fight as a potential next one? The fans would be all over that. I ain't worried about anyone. It's given me enough time to train. I'll fight anyone in the world, doesn't matter. Would you have a message for Alan Babich if he's watching this interview tonight? Just hope he enjoyed the show. Nick Webb, thanks very much for your time. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Thank you.